right, welcome in everybody. Let's see. Dee, 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 dee. Welcome in, Mad Dog and Big White Bear <laughs> and Dravana. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, Ruler and Harper Siege. <laughs> Ooh, Lin, 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 Lin. I never knew how to say this guy's name. <laughs> so we're just making up. <laughs> Uplifting, welcome on in. Hobgoblin, welcome, welcome. Sigma, welcome. Ooh. Oh. Stretching, stretching. And yawning. Oh, okay. Future Rush, welcome. <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 the accordion. I, I love songs with accordions in it. <laughs> and it's, it's rare to have a video game song with accordion in it. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty rare. Sigma, yep, you got it, you got it. White canvas today, so liquid <sighs> white. Linguini, yeah, we'll just call him Linguini. It's fine. It's like a Linguini ferret, Linguini badger. Sure. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Sauce and cheese those Pokemon. <laughs> well, we have talked about eating Pokemon before, so then. <laughs> there, there is a, there is that. Did your first Bob Ross class Saturday? My first ever experience painting with uh, first ever experience with painting, painting at all. Wow, that's awesome. That's so cool. Yay! How did you like it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, GGB, big white bear. Mountain. Yes. <laughs> dude. Dude. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yes. Mountains are difficult. <laughs> they, they are very difficult. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is, that is all I have to say. It, it, a lot of practice. A lot of practice. Absolutely. Have you heard of Georgian water mixable? I, I, not sure about the Georgian ones, but I do have water mixable oils. Uh, do, 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 do. I have a whole pouch over here. Here they are. Here they are. <laughs> they were uh, they were on clearance, so I got a whole bunch. <laughs> I have the um, I have the the Windsor Newton water mixable oil colors. I haven't really tried them yet. Well, I tried them with one like itty bitty little painting, but um, well, I, I, <laughs> I realized I used my, well, I used a set of Bob Ross brushes and I was like, oh shoot, I, I have to clean it with water, not, you know, paint thinner. And I was like, oh no, water and natural bristles don't work. <laughs> so I had to buy um, a new set of like, uh, synthetic brushes for the the water soluble ones, which I haven't so I haven't haven't tried them um, back since then. But yeah, I got some Windsor Newton ones, and like I said, they're on clearance, so I just bought a whole bunch. Deal around me. Use the lightest touch possible with the knife to do the snow thing, and it felt like the paint wasn't even coming off. It was it, it's it's yeah, it's a lot of practice, a lot of practice. <clears throat> when I was um. When I was doing my certification, like there were there were times where like I had a mountain and I, I just I just scraped it all off and did it over again because I just like wasn't wasn't crazy about them. I was like, oh. thank you. Yeah, I tried to um, I tried to match my makeup with my with my shirt, so kind of got the the teal the tealish going today. So thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's right. Get your bingo. This was not to manipulate bingo, by the way. It was a legit, legitimate question. Indeed, indeed. Unfortunately, we don't have a, a, a mountain today, but <laughs> I do. I do do a lot of mountains because you know Bob Ross stuff. The um, the one behind me that I'm pointing to right now that was knife only. I did everything with the knife in that painting. That was that was something. <laughs> like Bob says, you do that painting and you're good friends with the knife. That's that's for sure. <laughs> Found a pack of them. No essential or not. 
It's a Staples. Wait, 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 I found, found a pack of, there's a various colors at Staples. That's interesting, Staples, huh? Didn't know Staples had oil paints. No, mountain. <laughs> Dragon Lori, welcome on in. Teal or turquoise? Teal. Teal. The knife is, it is, it is, yeah, it is, it's something else. One of the most interesting things I saw recently was using the cloud technique to do a nebulous spacescape. I, <laughs> of course, I don't have those ones up right now, but um, I do a lot of space ones. I do a lot of space ones. I'll, I'll bring one out so you can kind of see here. We can put... I did the speed run the other day. I'll show yeah, I'll show you that one. This was a this was just a tiny little tiny little nebula speed run that I did on Thursday. Yeah, that was on Thursday, so it's eh, not quite dry yet, so but yeah, it's when I do my cruddy cruddy kid technique. <laughs> Do, 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 do. But yeah, we do a lot of a lot of different a lot of different things here. <laughs> Welcome in bourbon. <laughs> yeah, I know it's like Staples. See, now I'm gonna have to go to Staples. Not a place I often go to. <laughs> One of the three stores near me has a limited amount of it. Interesting. Canvases mostly acrylic paints, a few oils, scrappy brushes, scrappy fat well, you know. <laughs> But the, the, the fact that they have anything at all is just really interesting, really interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I, I keep touching just make sure it's secure in there, not going anywhere. But it just got like 16 by 20 canvas there. So, oh, <laughs> Keish, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid. What were you up to? <laughs> hope you're doing well. Hope, hope your stream went well. We're just getting started here. So I'm just putting on some liquid white. So I'm just going to dip my brush in there. There we go. Let's dip it so it's going down about like a centimeter from the edge of the bristles there. And then I just kind of, I kind of tap all over. That way I get like an even distribution. And then crisscross it in. <laughs> Welcome on in. Thank you so much for that raid. So the painting we have today is uh, is a redemption for um, a Bob one called Colors of Nature. Kind of a cool springtime one. So welcome in, Nick. Maybe a little bit more liquid white here. Yeah. <laughs> Alistair Wolfhart, I like that name. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Oh, I felt I felt some get on my face. <laughs> Florida Florida is Florida. Florida is Florida. Oh. It is uh it is 66 degrees here right now in Florida, so it's all right, it's all right. It was really cool um, yesterday afternoon. So we had a big rainstorm overnight. I'm also gonna just go horizontally and vertically. All right, just gonna wipe that off of my brush there. <laughs> I remember doing this when I first started out. Yeah. South Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you yeah, you kind of know. <laughs> Did a butterfly painting today. Painted using acrylic and al alcohol ink. Whoa. Okay. That sounds cool. I'm going to have to check that out. Highest pollen rate ever. We are suffering. I guess I'm fortunate. I'm not, not, uh, susceptible to the pollen, I guess. I don't know. Planning on going to Daytona next year. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, Daytona, Daytona is just like half an hour away from the Bob Ross workshop. So yeah, definitely, definitely go to the Bob Ross workshop because they have, they have like 50 original Bob Rosses there. So 
yeah, definitely well worth, well worth the trip. And they might have, if you go there, they might have classes going on or anything, but that's okay. You can walk in and you can still look around and take pictures and everything, so it's, it's fine. Yeah, and they, they sell shirts there and everything, so. Yes, yes. I think they're, mm, they're open Tuesday through Saturday, so close Sunday and Monday, so just don't go those days. <laughs> exactly, yeah, they have a bunch of shirts. They have, a, they have a cookbook there. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to look and see what classes they're having right now because it might be there in the near future. I'm going to look at my face real quick because I, I feel like I have paint on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, Excuse me. Oh, yep. Yeah, oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> all right, there. All right, there. All right, we're, we're good. Mm, better. Okay. All right, we're good now. We're good. I filmed an entire tutorial. And um, I, I had like a streak of liquid white like right here the entire time and I didn't realize it. Just like, <laughs> uh, say hi to Nick, exactly. yeah, say hi to Nick, yep. Say hi to Nick and Ada. Miss Numbria, no. I have to ask, is the wildlife stuff hard to come by in the States? <sighs> yeah, like, The, the wildlife certification, they don't do a whole lot. I, I think maybe only once or twice a year. And there aren't many people who have, have taken that certification. Like, of the people I know, like, I think I only know, like, one or two that are certified in wildlife. A lot more people are certified in um, floral. I'm only landscape so far. But, yeah, if, if I were to get another certification, it, it, would, it would be the floral. Bob Ross cooking wouldn't be safe having little accidents. He goes, exactly. And Bob said himself on the, um, on the show, he said he wasn't a very good cook, so. <laughs> you know, taking allergy medicine to avoid sinus infection. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm tempted to try a circular tape cut out on a side to mask out a plant in a plant escape and let that dry before doing the plant escape. So, let me let me show you <laughs> let me show you what I have going on because um, I actually had somebody um, that follows me on on Instagram and they've been they've been doing some of my tutorials. Well, so they yeah they follow me on Instagram, YouTube, and and they show up here every once in a while too, and um, and they requested I do a tutorial on like a like a spacey planet scene. So let me show you what I have planned. <laughs> Go into my room of uh, stuff. Here we go. So what I plan on doing is, this is just 16 by 20 black canvas. And so I cut out little circles of contact paper or really it's like shelf liner. So if you go to Amazon, just type in shelf liner, you can get that. But I just cut out some circles and put them on. So those are gonna be the planets. And so I'm gonna put, um, liquid clear, uh, transparent color all over. And then I'm gonna do like, like I did with the, the galaxy one that I showed you earlier, that nebula one. So basically gonna do that all in the background. And then when I'm done with that, peel off the planet parts and then put like whatever color, whatever transparent color I want for the planet. And then I'm planning on using a filbert brush. I don't have any right here, they're in the back room but take a filbert brush with uh, white on it and then just like kind of go along the edge after I've taken off the contact paper and then just kind of like blend that white into the rest. That way like this part will be light and then this part will still be dark, you know? So that's my plan anyway. <laughs> so I have to, have to do that um, sometime this week. Pants, welcome on in. Do you rem 
Recommend eating. <laughs> no, we have, we have a disclaimer here. No eating paint. No eating paint. No matter how good it looks. No, 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 no. No, 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 you're good. You're good. <laughs> you're good. Makes you wonder how Bob never had liquid white in his hair. I know, right? Unless it was there, we just never saw it. <laughs> Lauren Zoxio, welcome on in. Happy painting. Yeah, there's a disclaimer. There it is. Trogdor, welcome on in. If, yeah, if you don't have paint on your face, you ain't trying. <laughs> there you go. I did not, I did not eat it for the record. I, I, I took it off with a, um, with a baby wipe. <laughs> Marlick, hope you're doing well. It's all good, it's all good. That just means she's hungry, yeah. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to eat something after this because I eat at like oh, 4.30, but yeah, yeah. So it's definitely going to be, it's going to be an experiment for sure. Yeah, that's not, that's not, yeah I have to think of something for um, May the 4th too. And painting, what is um, impasto technique? From my understanding, impasto just means like thick. You want, you just want me to say thick. Or <laughs> so basically like, pretty sure that's when you use Italian. No, 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 no. <laughs> so basically kind of like the knife painting there, just like, just applying the paint really thick. I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's what it means. But I could be, I could be wrong. He has the force, yeah, Bob has the force. Which I, the atmosphere is me tricky, yeah. And, no, you're fine, you're fine. No, that's, yeah, we, we, we discuss painting, we, uh, we brainstorm, we brainstorm and share ideas here. So, yeah, never, never feel bad about that. I drank a lot of paint, what? <laughs> no, no, no. Is it, yeah. <laughs> Distracting me from painting? What? You, were, you weren't here for the Dragon Warrior painting. Oh boy, I got... <laughs> That's why that one... That painting took me six streams. <laughs> Good ventilation, yeah. Talk painting here? Never. Never, never, never. That's what this painting I got says on the back of the package and was legitimately curious. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, six streams later, exactly. <laughs> Hey, look, we've got liquid white on. We're good. Oh, speaking of which, so we've got our liquid white on, and then I just wiped off the excess there. So what you can do to make sure you've got the right amount, just take a finger and boop, 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 and just different areas just to make sure it's the right uh, thickness. So basically you want to still be able to see your fingerprints there. If you, if you can't see your fingerprints, then there's the, the whole, your whole fingers are just all white, then you got too much. It's always better to have less than more when it comes to the liquid white and liquid clear. Six streams only two hours, one hours of painting. <laughs> Earth McFly, welcome on in. Are you painting? <laughs> Let's wipe off my fingerprints there. Oh no, it didn't work. Did it work? Did the clip thing, did the clip thing work? Do I have my bot on? <laughs> I have my bot on. Oh, maybe, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm, mix it up, refresh. See if that works. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Yep. I don't see anything happening. Wait, it did. It, it did it. It did a thing. It made the clip. Okay, it's working. It's working. That's one last space painting question. <laughs> I would be using the, the dry black gesso with me. Correct, correct. And uh, somebody was asking me the other day, that um, when they were putting the liquid clear on, they were getting a little bit of like the black gesso in the brush. And I find that sometimes happens when I gesso like the same day. So if I put like um, the black gesso on the canvas and then just let it for dry for a couple hours, then sometimes I'll get some of that black gesso. In there. Even though it's dry, like, it, you know, well, the liquid clear kind of wets it a little bit. And so some of it comes off. But I noticed if, if I, you know, cover a canvas with black gesso like days prior and then do the painting, put the liquid clear on and everything, then I don't get that, the, the black coming off on the brush. So, so I would say black gesso your, your canvas like days prior. 
just to make sense. Ask about that. <laughs> there's, there's a clip about that. There you go. There's the duck cult. There it is. <laughs> but, and, and I do have, um, I do have some tutorials on my YouTube and I do have a couple. I have one for like, um, like, the, like a simple nebula, like the one that I showed you. And I have um, Northern Lights ones and I have some galaxy ones too. So you can always take a look at those. I was hoping that it means the paint is thick and that it'll work for this bob technique. Yeah, <laughs> still haven't used the ones I bought two years ago. The water soluble oils, oil uh, says dries in five to seven days. Yeah, that sounds about right. Reverse fingernails. What? What? <laughs> I've confused my watercolor cup with my drink cup many times. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, just trying to catch up real quick. Always, always remember I when your hand you looks like a reverse fingernails. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Oh, dear. Reverse fingernails. <laughs> Bronco, welcome on in. <laughs> I know all I have is liquid white up so far, so. I was hoping that I, oh yeah, I read that, okay. Sometimes I go back up and then I go back down <laughs> and do a starry picture. Yeah, yeah, like, like I said, I've got, I've got like a couple tutorials on uh, at YouTube and it'll give you, give you a little idea of like, like nebulas and like spacey skies, stuff like that. I'm gonna work on some more, yeah. And the nebula one is like 20 minutes. It's like really easy. So that's like, that's a good place to get, get you started. So that's the, that's the red nebula one, but super easy. And that was on like, like the one I showed you just like eight by 10. So it's really cute. Okay. If Link and Cubone got in a fight, who would win? <laughs> oh God. That's why I tried to clip it. So my comment wouldn't sound as weird as it does. Well, it's okay. Taking things out of context here is, you know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sorry for like, oh wait, wait, betting Link would sit on the couch. Crack, God dang. Gosh darn it! See, we're introducing all the new people to the all the all the all the memes, all the memes. Mm -hmm. Does brush quality make a difference? Yeah, it does. It does. So, yeah, like the the Bob Ross ones, they're um like natural brush, brushes. So they're like, I think they're like hog hair or something like that, but they're, they're very like, what do I want to say? Like dry and kind of, kind of stiffish. Like for, I'll, I'll show you, um, I have synthetic ones. Yeah, you can see just looking the set in synthetics, like real, real shiny, real slick and everything. So, but I'm hoping with like, with use, it'll get more textured, you know, break it in. <laughs> but yeah, I'll show you. Then. Yeah, of course, like this one's a little broken in, but, but yeah, you can, you can see. So there is that. All right. I'm gonna put some sky in. I'm just getting some phthalo blue here. Now, a lot of the paints I have here today are paints that are like left over from other paintings. So, so this is phthalo blue. It's got a little bit of white in it, so that's why it looks a little, a little lighter. And this is like uh, Prussian blue with a little bit of lizard and crimson and some Van Dyke brown. So we're gonna use that for the base of some distant trees and stuff. So, and these are basically our highlight colors for trees and grass, and shrubs, that sort of thing. So I'll show you how I'm loading it real quick here. So I'm just kind of tapping it in. So I get an even distribution. Sometimes I'll, do that, look at the bristles, make sure evenly distributed there. And I like to start from the corners, Let the corners darker, go across the top. And I'm just gonna kind of crisscross here. Crisscross that blue in. 
You see how it's just naturally getting lighter and lighter as we get towards the horizon. That's because I have less and less of that blue on my brush there. It's just mixing in with that liquid white. Hope color shows up on that canvas before the stream ends. <laughs> we have color. We did it. We've done it. Wow, you've done it. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> it's appalled that the colors in the palette aren't arranged in alphabetical order. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure there's somebody out there that. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot say. I can. I cannot say applesauce. I cannot. I cannot not say applesauce every time you say crisscross. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> crisscross applesauce. See, that's how you remember. Which is better, Prussian blue? Oh, that's, that's a tough question. I would say phthalo blue just because phthalo blue is a little more punchier, a little more vibrant. So that's, I usually use that one when I'm doing like, like a black canvas with a, when I'm doing like the, the space pictures or, or the northern lights. I usually use a phthalo blue for that. Prussian blue is good for like, if you want like um, like a duller sky, like if you're doing like a winter, like a winter scene or like a fall scene, I'll usually do Prussian blue. I was actually kind of torn on this one. I almost used Prussian blue for the sky. <laughs> Considers redeeming a crisscross karaoke song due to LG singing that all the same. I mean, you got, you got Jump Jump, or you got I Miss the Bus, and that's, those are the only crisscross songs I know, so. <laughs> yeah, Tart Tardis Blue, Tardis Blue. It's like Roger Rabbit, shave and a haircut. Yeah, exactly, exactly, gotta do it. Try to use Prussian Blue for a lake and turn it into a bottomless blue pit. <laughs> gotta ruin the whole painting, oh no. But hey, you, you tried it and, and you learn. <laughs> like Bob said, as long as you learn, you know, there's no time wasted. He does that in this painting when he's um, in this video, I was watching it and um, he, he makes these like really, really interesting clouds. We'll get there in just a sec, but um, he covers up one of the clouds. You could tell like he really liked that cloud because when he covered it up with a tree, he's like, oh, oh, oh we, we covered, oh, well, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> like, well, it's all right. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah. It bothered me for a long time that she didn't arrange them in wavelength order. Oh God. Some people just don't. Dork is hard as always. We can't fault her for trying to be one of the cool kids. <laughs> Got me strategic and tree placement. Yep, that's right. That's right. Deli bird. I'm just gonna blend up this bottom area just a little bit more. And I'm gonna tap a little bit more of that uh, Prussian blue, or no, I'm sorry. See, now you got me saying Prussian, Prussian, <laughs> Prussian. <laughs> it's phthalo, I'm looking at phthalo. I could throw some Prussian blue in it though. That'd be interesting. Maybe we will, I don't know. Maybe we will. I don't know, the lake's kind of small in this one. We'll see, we'll see. And it's loaded the same way. So for the water, like I said, this lake's kind of like over in this section. So go from the bottom and just kind of sweep towards the middle here. I'm gonna leave a sheen kind of, not in the middle, but like over in this three quarters. And see how I'm getting lighter and lighter and lighter as I'm going up there towards the horizon there. It's gonna wipe 
that brush off. I'm gonna go back in and get a little chunky bit there. Come on, there we go. All right, just wipe that off. We're gonna do the exact same on the other side. To crimp down network cables in order of increasing wavelength. I discovered that there's a reason the wires are twisted differently inside the cable. Ah, oh, signal, oh gosh, attenuates horribly <laughs> over 120 if you don't have them crimpled in the random order they want. <laughs> See, we, we, we learn, we learn here. What are we cooking on it? <laughs> what are we cooking up on ye old canvas tonight? So this is kind of like a really soft painting. So we have like big old clouds way in the distance and then like well, some little distance foliage. And then, like I said, we got a little lake over here. And then we have not like a huge tree in the middle, but we have like a couple bigger trees over here, tree over here, little meadow in the back. So it's just like a really, Nice, quiet, soft painting. No mountains or anything, but yeah. That green on the palette reminds me too much of split pea soup. Oh no. Yeah, I can see that. That is kind of, yeah. It is kind of that color. Is one paper towel enough to clean the brush? Usually for me, but then again, as you see, like I start doing this number, I'll like some kind of like squeeze some of the paint off like that. And then I'll flip to the other side and just kind of do that number and then I flip it in half and then put it in the palm of my hand and then do that number where I'm just kind of like doing a little circle, circle motion there. So <laughs> I do like three different ways there. Stride Warrior, welcome on in. Mm -mm -mm. Old person split pea soup for sure. No questions asked. Oh no. No cabins either. Oh, that's true. That's true. Do not ask about the accidental jerky. No, 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 no. <laughs> Actually gonna go back in and blend out a couple brush strokes there. There we go, okay. And I'm gonna reload my brush, just tap that in. Tap, 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 tap. And we're gonna go over to the other side. Same thing, ease up on the pressure. As we're going towards the top. Oop, I went a little higher on that side. Let's, let's do a little bit more over here. There we go. That's a little better. I'll wipe that off again. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a clip. There's a clip. You have to uh, turn your computer or your phone upside down to see uh, the other thing that we saw. That wasn't a turkey. And with my cleaned off brush, I'm just gonna just do a couple sidewards swipes there just to kind of blend that a bit, just a little bit. You still wanna keep the little like streaky bits to make it look watery. I don't know if you remember Conan the Barbarian with Arnold in 82. Called Secret is that they're cannibals. Ah, see, I, I need to see. I, last time I saw that movie was like, I don't know, like mid 90s. See, Arnold, that's a huge kettle of soup over. And he has rubber hands in it on the commentary track. Arnold calls the director, you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and said so they referred to the kettle as. Split pea and hand soup. Oh, I see, I see. Right now it's the view of being lost at sea. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's me a little, little ship in the distance there. All right. You know what? For this painting, ugh, he uses, now was it this one or was it this one? No, 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 no. There are two that look similar. Do I even have the other one? Hmm. No, no. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, they're real similar. 
There's the foliage brush, and then there's the half size round. And they're, they're, they're real similar. One's just a little bigger than the other. So, oh, I think it's a bigger one he's using. But look how, look how thick this part is. I hate, ugh, it's just, it's cumbersome. So I'm gonna go into, because he puts his clouds in, go back to, uh, let me go to this picture here. So he puts like a shadow color for his clouds first. So I'm gonna go into this color here. It's kind of like a bluish lavendery color. I'm just gonna tap that color in. And let's see, he's got, I'm just gonna use kind of like a little circular motion here. Basically just putting like the undersides of clouds in here. So I'm cutting, putting the color on and then kind of blending it out. So there's a lot of that in this, in this technique there. I'm gonna switch to the other corner. There's a lot of things I have to watch again because, yeah, my memory's not great. <laughs> or use what, yeah, or whatever you want. Kuzi, welcome on in. Yeah, we have a redemption for the Bob painting Colors of Nature today. We, yeah, we might, might play around with the, uh, the colors of the foliage a little bit. Maybe, maybe throw some fall colors in there, you know. Yeah, no. <laughs> Extra cautious to routine pure white of the horizon because I've messed up way too many times. And, and you know, like, what you can do is you can always go back in. I'll show you just for example. Like, if you, if you ever do, like, you know, lose your white in the middle there, like, well, like, I have a little blue here, I'll show you. Like, I'm just taking, like, a one-inch brush, just tapping in a little bit of white. Yeah. And you can just go back in and just, like, put in more white like that. So see, like, pew. That's the nice thing about oils. Very forgiving. So like, there you go. Now I have, now I have more, more white there. Sometimes I'll do that with, um, with the base of a mountain. Like I'll purposefully tap in more white to make it more like misty. Uh-oh, what? <laughs> Who's banning who? What, what is going on? What is going on? <laughs> Just movies for soundtrack. If you do watch it again, watch carefully when he gets the sword and the next scene, they cut something up for me. <laughs> Sorry. Well, if you're talking about punching the camel, that's like the one thing I do remember from that movie. <laughs> I remember that. I remember the beginning where he's like turning the wheel. Like, I think what it is is because those those scenes were so iconic. They were like memes before memes, you know? So those scenes were recreated a lot in popular culture, probably The Simpsons, you know, stuff like that. Much later? That's a difference. Oh, okay. Shoot, then I, I do have to go back and watch it. Interesting. All right. Let's go back into our purpley-ish. And sometimes I do clockwise, sometimes counterclockwise. Just depends. That's just to have a little, little darkness there. It's gonna tap a little more in. A little more over here. And it's cool because you know when you when you first start applying this stuff, it's gonna be that's when the color is gonna be the more most intense. So you have a dark color, it's gonna be the darkest at that point, and then as you're working, it gets lighter, but it's cool because you get that variation. So some, some parts are darker, some parts are lighter. So it gets a little more naturalistic effect. Another 
cloud over here. Okay. I think that's pretty good for the under color for the cloud. So let's, let's wipe off this brush. You can tell this is an older brush. <laughs> I, bought, I bought this one about four years ago because this is, this is the old school logo right there. <laughs> See, it's, that's the new logo they have on everything. This is the old school one. Maybe via the DM cell, maybe even if I, what they cut out, yeah. In the photo of the paints you got, nice. Thick, yeah, thick paints. So I want to find a copy of the Goonies with the octopus attack scene. Isn't, isn't it in the, um, yeah, like, I know there's like a special edition that has, it has like a, that as a, like a featured cut scene. I know I've seen it. Unless I just saw it on YouTube. But I, th I thought there was a, a DVD that has that scene on it, extended version. Yeah, okay. I thought so, yeah. Because, like, that's the one thing you should have. <laughs> They should have that, and I'd probably the, you know, Cindy Lauper music video. Was it in the music? Was it in the music video? Was the octopus in the music video? <laughs> he played sloth. <laughs> He's starting to group. That's awesome. Yeah, no, I lies. <laughs> I'll just use the I'll use the same brush for putting in the um, the white because Bob did so I'll I'll do that too. Sir, so, let's where did he start? What did he start with? He started kind of in the middle. Yeah. All right. So I got my white here. I'm just gonna I'm basically just gonna tap it into the corner, bottom corner there. Tap tap tap. I'm tap a good amount. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. There might have been some kind of like production. <laughs> you never know. You never know. All right. Let's. Uh, heck. Let's let's start over here. So same thing. Just little. Little circles, little circles. So I'm starting with like the whitest part of the cloud and then moving towards the center. And it's, as I'm doing the little circling motions, it's kind of, excuse me, blending the two together. The white and the gray. And then as you're doing that, you're gonna wipe off a lot. So, so every so often, like, see, so I did that part there, but so the, the brush is like, okay, it's picking up all that blue and everything. So you wanna wipe that off and then reload. Reload with the whites. That's the thing about the clouds. You're gonna <laughs> have to wipe off the white that you picked, or the, the blue that you picked up and reload with white quite a bit. And this is why white is the color I go through the most. <laughs> There's like so many different ways of making clouds. Like even, you know, watching Bob, he does clouds in so many different ways. 
And with pretty much every brush too. Well, and the knife. Because <laughs> those clouds were with the knife, of course, so. Oh, thank you, thank you. I try, I try. I squint really hard, you can see a dragon. <laughs> I see a face, I see, I see a nose, like maybe eyelash or eyebrow there, chin. I see that. All right, tap some more white into there. I'm gonna go over into this section. Gonna meet up with that one a little bit. Ooh, color blown out. Let it get back there. There we go. Sometimes that happens. Okay, it's another little little layer there. And again, wipe off what you've collected. You should do a painting where little bob faces hidden in the clouds and the brushes. <laughs> There's a couple people I've seen who have done contact uh, paper paintings where the contact paper is the shape of Bob's face. And uh, what, one person who did that, the CRI that did that, she sent me the, um, the template for making it. So <laughs> that's, that's something I'll have to do. Yeah, yeah. I received the paintings from Bev Doolittle. Not that I know of. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, total Americana there. Love that. Oh, wow. Ooh, I love birch trees. So anytime I see birch trees, like, yeah. Love that. Horses, horses are tough. That's another thing I have to work on. Horses. Oh, fox. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, those are good. I like those. Cool. Yeah, thank you for sharing. I, I like those a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, the hidden face. Yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of white tapped in there. <laughs> I'm wipe off this brush and just kind of blend up what I have there. Yeah, I was looking. <laughs> yeah, but you can always you can always um post them in the Discord and everything too. That's yeah, absolutely. Is the round brush beatable? How publicly? Well, let's try with the little one. A slightly, slightly smaller one here, but we can get a little beating out of it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep, it, yep, we can beat it. <laughs> it works. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Joseph. Yeah, <laughs> free beating. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, we, we did try the knife when we did the knife painting. It was, um, well, 
Not so much a beating, but. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, that was, what was that, the full? No, this is the, this is the foliage one. That was the half, the half round, half round brush. I don't use these ones very often, as you can see. Well, they have, they have, they have cool effects though. You'll see them, you'll see the effects with the, um, with the leaves and stuff. They kind of make a like leaf clump that's shaped like that. Kind of like how um, how the fan brushes will do that. They'll if you have the handle pointing towards the ground, the branches will be kind of shaped like that. But this will be kind of thicker, on the thicker side. Kind of different. This one kind of meets up with that one there, so. I'll wipe some of that off so I can blend that together. here. I love when Bob's doing these clouds. He's like, ah, wherever. It doesn't matter. It does matter, Bob. <laughs> I put this cloud here and I don't like it. <laughs> it matters, Bob. <laughs> here. Got a little more, a little more white left here. Why not? Just use it. Just use it up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, he, he covers up, he, he does like a cloud that he really likes, like right in this area. And then he covers it up with the tree and he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> like, oh, well, <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I think I'm just going to do a little more over here. This area is a little, a little bare. Pop culture painting redemption be something described, or does it have to be an established piece of art? Well, I mean, like a lot of the video game stuff I do is like, like a specific scene from a video game, but like some things I take different elements of things and kind of put them together in a different way. So it kind of it kind of depends. <laughs> if I think I can do it, then I'll do it. If I don't think I can do it, <laughs> then I'll redeem your points. <laughs> or sometimes, like you know, we'll talk about something like a scene from a video game, and then you know somebody will, will redeem it. You know, like we talked about the um, Ocarina of Time, Dark Link one, and then. Mark redeemed it, so so we can can brainstorm. 
<laughs> I, don't, I don't know what Bulls is doing there. He's plunging and <laughs> plunging and uh, I forgot what it's called. Not cheer, yeah, cheer, cheering. Different kind of cheering. <laughs> See, there's Bulls. There's Bulls. I'm just gonna take a step back, just kind of see where my clouds are. See if there's anything else I want to put in there. And maybe a little, maybe a little lighter over here. Something like that. I think that's pretty, pretty decent. Do I want this little? Yeah. Blend that up just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Just make it a little softer. A little softer, a little swishier. Sometimes Bob will do this thing where he kind of like, like, whew, but sometimes if you do that, you'll you'll get these little stringy things that are coming from the clouds, which I don't care for. So, so if I do that, I'm just I'm just very very careful about it. <laughs> okay, I think I think that's pretty good there. I think I will I will move on. So we're just gonna have like a like a layer of really really distant trees here. So for that, I'm gonna use this purplish color. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gonna load the uh, top corner here, so you can kind of see. I'm just kind of tapping that top top corner. Do 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 do. Whenever I see that lavender color, I always think like Easter, Easter colors. I'm just gonna. Tap in little, little background trees here. Let's reload that. <laughs> I think I hit the camera there. Sorry about that. It's still working? Yeah. It's still working. <laughs> You're claiming, claiming clouds. <laughs> the far left is fluffy. All right, we're naming, we're naming clouds. See, now you know you're, you're doing a Bob Ross painting if you're, if you're naming your clouds and your trees. <laughs> and Man of Fans Fans has the, the Vigo hanging and banging. <laughs> Amanda, did you see the, um, the picture I put in um, Popcorn's Discord of, of me hanging and banging with a barber? <laughs> <laughs> I see a gigantic bunny rabbit on the right half of the sky. Oh, okay. Sure. It's a bull's voice. This, this one is the, the foliage brush. And then, yeah, the, the other one that's real similar, but a little smaller. I'll wipe that one off a little bit. This one's real similar, but smaller. That one's the half size round. But it's like, <laughs> it's just I, I hate how thick that, that part in the middle is. It's like, ugh. You still see, I'm holding it kind of like a pencil like that. Nose itch there. Chaser, welcome on in. Itchy, it's still itchy, sorry about that. Put, put googly eyes on it and call it done. Exactly. It's lost with the smoke monster. <laughs> a crab-shaped cabin called a crab in 32%. Exactly. It's a, yeah, it's a chonky. It's a, it's a chonky brush there. That's a, that's a chonky brush that is. <laughs> Boop, 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 boop. I'm just tapping a little bit underneath there. I'm gonna 
wipe that off. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Stay thick brush for thick paints. There you go. noticing things. <laughs> I'm just going to take the same brush. I'm just going to kind of blend in that bottom bottom area there. Just the same way. Just kind of tap in the top corner of the brush. Oh, there's a hair there. We'll get you in a sec. He puts one row of these. I might put two. I might put two, just to have a different color mixed in there. All right, straggly hair, pop that out with a corner of your brush. Bloop, there we go. Mm -mm -mm. These paints I bought have a stick figure, wait, a stick picture a dead fish on the back of the box. I don't know what that means. Interesting story. But when you don't consume almost lethal amounts of caffeine, you get tired a lot sooner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The crabbing in the sky. There you go. The crabbing in the sky. I can fly twice as high. <laughs> See, the more the more you know. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna add another layer. Let's do same color, but just a little bit darker. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab some of that Prussian mix. Oh yeah, oh, look at that. Ooh, strong, strong. Oh, wow. That's pretty. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. I see a Pikachu in the second cloud on the left towards the bottom of it. second cloud on the left towards the bottom of it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I see the Pikachu in that one. <laughs> Let's go back to, back to this brush. Tap the corner. layer. Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. One more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the gosh darn friggin' spring forward daylight savings time. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll do it, too. Yeah. <laughs> they are. Yeah, they are. Or hog. Hog ear. Again, 
just tap it a little underneath. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Just another little subtle layer, that's all. That's all. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just like, um, it's just like Schoolhouse Rock. It's just, just sitting there, it's just sitting there on Capitol Hill, just waiting to be passed and <sighs> yeah. Yeah, because Florida voted to have it daylight savings all the time, which makes sense because we're so heavily dependent on tourism. So to have an extra light hour in the day makes sense. Or light or darker, you know. Like hog hair better than the other I've tried. For some reason, it just works better for me. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's, because I was saying it's kind of like, just, I don't know, textured, stiffer, I guess. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Easier to get textures in the, in the painting. I don't know. That's what it seems like anyway. For Yeti hair. Here's your real, here's since your favorite look. Well, close to 10% more car accidents nationwide yesterday and today than the rest of the year. Plus an increased incidence of heart attacks. Oh gosh. That's awful. Yeah, it's so, so silly. So silly. Yeah. Oh. It's gonna blend out the bottom again there. Da, 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 da. I don't know what do we have after this? Oh yeah, a little, little grassy area. Little grassy area. hairs there. Bob it. <laughs> yeah. It's like one of the few things we can all agree on. Stop changing the time. <laughs> Stop it. Henry's by. Welcome on in. Yeah, Leslie, Leslie Nielsen, small fox. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, yep, yeah, daily savings time, you know it, you know it. Yeah. All right, now see now, now in the painting, this is when Bob switches to the, back to the two inch brush. So we'll, we'll do the same here. We'll do the same. So we have a little, little grassy area behind our little lake. So I'm going to go back to, oh, let's, 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 yeah, let's go with just this dark kind of Prussian blue Van Dyke brown mixture there. Just going to tap that in. Get a nice even distribution there. I think that looks good. And so, because it's grass, we're gonna ho hold the brush horizontally and kind of like handle towards the bottom. I'm just gonna tap in just a little, little grassy area. Now we're putting the the dark in first. Kind of switched up my grip there. Went to pencil holding grip. I <laughs> usually, usually kind of hold the brush like a pencil. So I kind of start the top of it there and just kind of tap, tap underneath there. You see how it's getting lighter and lighter and lighter. Because again, got less, less and less paint on there. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my brush to the other side. Get a little, a little more of that dark color out. I think that's pretty good there. Okay. So 
I'm going to wipe that off. And then we're going to highlight the grass there. So I'm going to use a mix of the, the split pea green soup they call it, <laughs> and a little bit of a yellow ochre. So I'm going to mix those two together. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's just let's grab a little yellow ochre, some of that. Professor, welcome on in. Ooh, Flareon. <laughs> because it's blue. <laughs> yeah, we're using the, the pea soup, yes. <laughs> pea, pea green. See, pea, pea soup green. Oh gosh. Oh dear. Oh dear. There we go. I'm going to leave it like not totally mixed because I want wanted to color to kind of variate as we go on there. So for highlighting, I'm just going to take two inch brush there. Same thing, the handle pointing towards the floor and just kind of tapping that color into the edge there. You can kind of see that texture that we're getting. That's what we're looking for, that nice spongy texture. So, tapping in the same way, handle pointing down towards the ground. And I'm gonna start up here. Now, if it isn't coming off well, or if you want your highlights a little lighter, Dip your brush into a little bit, a little bit of liquid clear. See, that's, that's plenty. So I'm going to tap that in. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. All right. Let's go back in. There we go. And the color should be just coming right off of the brush real easily. You shouldn't have to tap too hard. If you're having to tap too hard, the color's not coming off, then you're just, you're just being a mud mixer, mushing that color on to your canvas. Didn't want that. Miss some stuff, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, Gib, Gib, cute Pokemons. I can't have any of the cute. Oh. Pro tip, LG, your pea should not be green. If it is, see a doctor. <laughs> exactly. It could result from uh, from eating paint, which you should not do. <laughs> did, I, did I see? Did I see a cousin there? Did I see cuz? Cuz through an ultra ball. Yeah, welcome, cuz. Hope you're feeling better. Chuckles candies. Oh wow, that's yeah, that's an old school one. Chuckles. Do do do. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Punisar, welcome on in. Known as the ruler decks. <laughs> if you have any that I don't, I'm willing to trade. See, see. And if you, if you do exclamation point decks, like you can, you can look at that uh, link and you can see everybody else's Pokemon. So you can look at that link and see my, all of my 64 Pokemon. <laughs> and a PT this morning, Carmore Star. Oh gosh, it's getting towed to dealers morning. Oh geez, you, you just can't get a break. Gosh, oh. Yeah, I, I, I saw I saw because I scrolled back and <laughs> amongst all the Pokemon stuff, sometimes that happens. 
There you go. There's your disclaimer. There it is. <laughs> I think I'm caught up now. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh. oh, okay, excuse me. Goodness, it is only, it's only 8.30. Why am I yawning? Why am I yawning? I don't know. I just got paint all over me. Oh, jeez. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. Cool deal. So we have our little, little grassy meadow area in the back there. I'm just going to put, eh, maybe a little more, a little more green back here. There we go. Okay, I think I think that is where I like it. That's probably gonna cut, cover it up with a tree anyway, but that's okay. We know it's there. When it rains and pours, it, exactly, exactly. Yep. Are you caught up on Star Trek? I need I need to get back to Star Trek because I think I I decided that I wanted to just go back to the beginning because I haven't seen anything from like season one or two, so I just to get caught up like on all the things. So, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. But I've, I've been distracted by um, watching like <laughs> trials on court TV, <laughs> YouTube court TV. So that, that's what I've, yeah, that's what I've had on the background while working, so. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Gib, <laughs> Gib missing no to Mad Dog. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Florida, but we had the time change, so we sprung forward. So instead of uh, 7.30 as it normally would be, now it's 8.30 right now. So, Falks Grid, thank you for redeeming Beat the Devil out of it. Let us... Let's see, what do we want? Let's use, oh, let's use a two inch brush here. Let's use a two inch brush. So let's clean this, some paint thinner. All right, and then we can go over to our devil cam and go. And then also, ooh. <laughs> All right, there we go. Ooh, look, oh my gosh. Ooh. Got paint all over. It's the third time being towed to the dealer. Hopefully, it's, oh, what's the battery again? It's been like six months. Gosh. Ugh. Yeah. Took two naps yesterday. <laughs> I was so messed up from it. Yeah. I'm not usually invested in the game. I just want cute ones when they pop up. Yeah, that's that, that's kind of how I, well, I play Pokemon Go, and I just, like, yeah, I just try to catch them all. Like, I'm not interested in, like, fighting other players or doing raids with other players or whatever. And I just, I just want to collect them. Collect them, evolve them, get them all, that sort of thing, so... Fibro fog, hospital trauma, yeah, car not starting. Time chase is way too much, way too much. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Hands relatively clean. Now what does he put in here? He puts like a little... Oh, I see. I see what he does. Okay. So as he's putting in the color, the base color for these big three trees here, he kind of uses that color for like these little bushes up here. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So in that case, I think I'll go back to, I'll go back to the, not this one, the bigger one, the foliage one. So I'm going to go back to that kind of Prussian blue color, but... Let me add some Van Dyke Brown in there. Yeah, let's do that. So fresh and blue mix. 
Van Dyke Brown. Ooh, Van Dyke Brown really taking over there. Phew. Oh heck, let's just use it all. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Let's squeeze that off of my knife. And clean the knife. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> things surgeons don't say for $200. <laughs> Relatively clean hands, they're, they're fine. <laughs> it's good enough. 700 a month, I'd be like, I'm good, I'll bike you. <laughs> Jeez. Good, yeah, no. The 15 miles downtown. <laughs> batteries under front passenger seat. New batteries under over $400, but it's under warranty. Yeah. Durango. Hmm. I'm gonna load it the same way as the other ones. Just kind of, just kind of tap. Just kind of tap that in. It's good. And so we're gonna have a oh, big old tree right, right here. So I'm gonna start here-ish. A little more paint. So this is just the base color of the tree right now. shorter than that tree. Extend him this way a bit though. You have some bushes over here. And I think this is all covered with land, so yeah, we got land over here. I'm not gonna worry about a reflection for that guy then. But this one I will. Just a little bit. Doesn't have to be super accurate or anything. And I usually put the color for the reflections like a little less, less color than I'm putting the actual trees in. Okay, I think that's pretty good for that one. Oh, do I want, I don't know, he, yeah, okay. He puts bushes and stuff over here too, so I'll do it. Well, maybe I'll, I'll let the grass peek out a little bit on mine. This is just land out here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it in with dark color. for the land, I'm just holding my brush horizontally. I'll put the, the highlights in with the two inch brush and go back to that one. Okay, that's good there. Here. Let's 
lock that in. We'll have this one go up about yay high. That's, that's good. Something like that. And then some foliage over here. Okay, and then he put, oh, it's getting blown out again. Make that adjust. And then, yeah, he puts a couple, a couple little bushes over here. It's a big brush, so I'm just using the corner here. Just the corner. that brush off. I gotta scroll back. I, <laughs> I got busy putting in all the all the dark areas, so I'm sure I missed a lot of chat there. Mm. Is that the full or the half size round? This is this is the foliage one. So that's the bigger, that's the bigger one. So yeah. I couldn't remember which one he used for this painting. <laughs> I watched it today and I was like, wait, was this one this one? But I think it was the big one, but, but that's what I'm using there. But yeah, the, the half size is like almost the same, but just smaller, a little different. But yeah, this is the big, the big one there. Merry Christmas, are you? <laughs> it's like two sea creatures standing there. Girl creature on the left with, with child. Oh. oh, okay, yeah. Cool. Yeah, you okay, ruler? <laughs> you know ruler. Ruler's always seeing things in the paintings. <laughs> I thought Marlick was going to flip tables and set them on fire a couple weeks ago. White creature on the right has his underwear on the outside. Superhero complex, like Doug. <laughs> or uh, for uh, younger, younger folks, Captain Underpants. <laughs> you know how we do. Yeah, Ruler is exactly where he intends to be. <laughs> exactly. Have you ever known me to be anywhere else? Close to okay. <laughs> I'd be worried if Ruler wasn't acting like this. <laughs> Two batteries on the press chair. Exactly, Quail Man, yeah. Good old Quail Man. <laughs> I love Doug. Skipped out on Stardew Sunday two weekends ago because I thought it was going to flip tables and set them on fire. <laughs> Boy, a lot, of, a lot of table flipping going on here. With my brush relatively clean, I'm just gonna pull down for some reflections here. There we go. Wipe that off and just go across a little bit just to whew, make it watery. Two hairs and some hair. You know how we do. You know. Mm 
Okay, that's good for that. Now he doesn't really highlight those. Maybe I will. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I will. Yeah, let's grab. Let's grab a one inch brush. That looks good. Let's get some. Oh, let's see. The way what social media thing was it that people were talking about you need <laughs> yeah that was it was you were right it was it was it was the Facebook just game nerd welcome on in I think Shiva from FFX in the middle right cloud see there you go <laughs> I had to message Jay Ho and be like I'm not gonna be this weekend I'm so sorry but I want to hurt things and I can't plug play yeah I mean you're you, you can't always be in in the mood that it's all it's all okay we understand it's all good but yeah like <laughs> it was so funny I shared um forget which dragon one it was was it the light dragon one I think it was the tears of the kingdom light dragon one yeah what oh Oh, Marlick, those are so cute. Aw. See, I see more dragons. Aw. They're so cute. Anywho. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. The paints, okay. Indeed, indeed. Okay, yeah. So so I have um, made a reel of me doing the, um, the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom light dragon painting. And... Yeah, I shared the reel on um, my, like, business Facebook, you know. And, um, yeah, two separate people commented saying they wanted to see more dragons. And I was like, the ruler is that you? <laughs> yeah, one person put, paint more, dragon emoji, please, Jess. <laughs> and then another person put, I love it when you paint dragons with your landscapes. <laughs> like, what is this? What is this? People want to see dragons. It's a thing. It's definitely a thing. It's too funny. <laughs> yeah, I ho, I ho. It's all to the dealership we go. <laughs> exactly. Pantstera. Instead of Pantera, Pantstera. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I miss such a man. She must have heard things. Put a trogdor? I mean, <laughs> we could. But he'd be burninating all the cabins. Poor cabins would all be on fire. I commented on a different video of the dragon painting. It might have been the YouTube short. I, you know what? I haven't seen like any kind of comments on any of my YouTube stuff in a long time. Like, maybe, I don't. I think it's just not like notifying me of comments, but there's another thing I can go into called YouTube studio where something was flying in the air. But I think I'll have to go there and double check because like I have not been, yeah, getting comments, not that I know of. So I think something's, something's amiss. I'm just gonna scratch out some little sticks and twigs here. Doop, doop, doop. Doop. Oh, you do, why not? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Big old beefy arm, yeah. yeah. It's all good, it's all good. Yeah, pretty much, well, the entire, <laughs> the entire month of February, uh, I was doing another painting from a video game, Dragon Warrior, so. <laughs> that, was, that was six streams right there, so you, you're good. The speed run was the um, was it the the galaxy one with the with the mountain? I think that that was what it was. This, yeah, that was the same day I did um, the knife painting. So like for YouTube purposes, I just like cut the video in half and just made them two separate videos. Yes, 
<laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's all good. And that's why I do the time lapses too, because not everybody has time to watch a whole stream, you know. More Pokemon. <laughs> Marlick, thank you for the 100 more Pokemon bits. That's a cute one. Oh, wolf. My, my Tiana? My Tiana. Something. So let's. Yeah, I wanted to highlight some of these guys real quick. So, one inch brush. Oh, I'm gonna grab some yellow. <laughs> some yellow ochre. I'm gonna see if this is enough. If not, I'll, I'll put some liquid white on there. Yeah, a little, a little liquid white. Okay, let's try. There we go. There we go. Let's put a couple more here. Boop, 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 boop. Put a little color underneath too for reflections. Why not? Do a little more orangey. Orange. Ooh. Do, 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 do. Neat. Do I throw a little red in there? Yeah. Yeah. Bright red. Maybe. Maybe. Let's try it. <laughs> oh yeah, the golden swamp one. That was well, that was a redemption. <laughs> so I got, I got. Yeah, I'm gonna do more swamp ones. Cause I did that one and I, I want to do one that's even like, like a thicker swamp with more green, more green. That's what I want to do. More swamp scenes. Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. It's, it, if it, <laughs> Bob's telling me to put a firecracker in there. <laughs> Life has started a, where she cannot hope to win. Uh oh, she logged on to my Book of Faces and responded to a scam. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> the ones I get are like, I like your artwork. I would like to buy his NFT. <laughs> okay, but okay, buddy. <laughs> There he is. There's a firecracker. I'm gonna put another firecracker in there too. That's one, one so far. Just a little firecracker. <laughs> Just gonna wipe off those colors there. All these ones he has like kind of greenish, but first before I highlight this stuff, I'm gonna get some like tree trunks in here. And since this color is already so dark, I think I'm just gonna go in and, um, I don't know. Do I want dark and then light or just light? Hmm, decisions, decisions. Cause he goes like straight dark. But this is already pretty dark. Let's, let's try dark first and then just highlight that. So get my script liner out. Bing. Get a little bit of paint thinner into that dark color. Script liner, are you okay? Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. That might be a bad script liner. Yeah. I don't think that one's good anymore. <laughs> Let's get another one. This one feels better. Okay. <clears throat> Paint thinner. Okay. Let's put a couple trunks in here. Yeah, yeah that looks good. That's all the way down there. And I'll just highlight it with some white on top. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. Now let's get a little more paint thinner. Ooh, excuse me. Oh dear. You're like trying to get as far as you can with scammer? Oh no. <laughs> oh, they swamp scene? Yeah. Ah, I like the swamp scenes. Defense, it only took me three other messages to get ghosted by the scammer. There you go. <laughs> that's, always a, that's always a good thing. They're just like, eh. You're not worth it. <laughs> the final straw was when I asked what the conver conversion rate was for monopoly money. <laughs> there you go. My friend fell for a scam and legit, legit sent $300 in Subway gift cards to somebody. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's, get a lot of footlongs for three hundred dollars. Oh gosh! Wow. I used to work with responded to a scammer and sent him play money from the dollar store. There you go. He spent like thirty dollars on the play money and another fifteen dollars to ship. I'm like. You're going through a divorce and your wife is in the process of taking everything except your worn out socks. Why are you wasting $50 on the scam? <laughs> because it made him feel good. <laughs> let's, let's discuss who wants $300 to subway. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, sorry, itchy nose again. Okay. Let's do the other side. Other tree. Here. I'll have that one kind of coming from the side there. There we go. Beep. There. Okay. Now. I'm going to take some of that color, throw it into some white. There we go. And that'll be my highlight color. Same thing, put some paint thinner into the highlight color. Just kind of twist. Show you what I'm doing here. So I got my paint thinner and whoopsie, it's kind of running down. That's kind of what you want though. You want it to be consistency of ink there. I'm just twirling it so it gets to a point. <laughs> you can't do that long or it'll just drip. <laughs> just drip right off the palette. And I'm just gonna highlight like the right side here. Now, I have a very shaky hand, so that's why that's why I'm kind of bracing it. Mm. Just gonna go around the outside there. 
refill. <laughs> Who scams for Subway gift cards? I know it's a very, it's an oddly specific thing. I had a friend who would give the phone to her toddler who loved to talk to anyone. Aww, <laughs> that's fun. You can sell gift cards online to reseller sites. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, geez. See there, so there is, yeah, yeah <laughs> there is something to that. Wow. But if you get enough of those silly attempts, it ends up in Florida. Yeah, yeah. And that says gift cards are like the ultimate bear, bear bonds for scams. Oh, man. Like if you go to the right places panhandling, you can make more, more an hour than minimum wage jobs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, it works. If you only get one scam a week to work, you'll make a lot more than you can work a legitimate job. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It is. It is a. It is a job. It's a full-time job. Doesn't bode well for the stained glass gig I'm doing. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. Panhandling one. <laughs> So we, we need to start our own business. What are we gonna What are we gonna start? <laughs> and, and it's not only fanbrush.com. It's not that. It's not that. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just not safe. I think. Um, yeah, like any any time, like I'm in the car and somebody approaches, I'm just like. Look straight ahead, look straight ahead. It just, it's just not safe. You just you can't trust anyone. Yeah. Side here. There we go. You. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just loading, loading frequently. <laughs> I saw one of the homeless panhandlers walking behind a store one time. He took off his dirty rib coat, put in his sign in the trunk of his newer Mercedes, put on a coat and drove away. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Ugh, I just never know. I feel like the ones that have dogs, I'm just like... Because you know, like most of the people that are giving money or they feel bad for the dog, you know, and it's like, I'm sure that's why they have a dog, you know, it's like, eh. that, that irks, that irks me. Like, that dog has nothing to do with it, like. Yeah, the dogs for content. Exactly. Pan pan shame. <laughs> we're pan shaming. We're do we're pan shaming here. So this museum in England switched funding one day. The next day, I told Booth was installed into the parking lot. The same guy showed up every day for thirty years, seven days a week, five hours a day to collect the money from people parking. Then one day he didn't show up, so the museum called the city. <clears throat> to find out the replacement. Turns out the city had no record of the toll booth being there. <laughs> <laughs> I 
that's, that's pretty good. That's, that's, that's pretty good. You can walk a block and get a job at Quick Trip. Yeah. <laughs> I have no shame in ignoring them. Yeah. Like, they have to know, because, like, especially if, like, you're, you're, you're alone by yourself, like, in a car. There's, you, just, you just can't. You just can't do it. It's just, no, nah, it's unsafe. Unsafe. Like I think I think I told you all about um, you know, this a couple months ago now. I was at Walmart and um, I was I was by myself. I was walking back to my to my car in the parking lot, and like this um, you know this woman approaches me saying that she needs money for for gas that so so that she could see her kids in the hospital. I'm just like, what? Like, <laughs> and then I look behind me and then her, uh, you know, boyfriend, partner, whatever was like in a truck, like driving up and down the aisles, like, you know, with her asking for money. Like, why are you using up the gas, like driving up and down the aisles if that's you know, what you need the money for is to see your kids in the hospital or something. It just, none of it added up. And so like my, my, um, my go-to response is I don't carry cash on me. So that way they just, they, they, you know, they have nothing to say back. Oddly, they run away from you. He's spray free candy on the side. Of your yeah. I bet. I bet pulling off that scam was a toll order. Uh. <laughs> Use the same excuse, yeah, yeah. You can't, you cannot trust people. It's just, it's a dangerous world. Dangerous, dangerous. Method, yeah, oh yeah, especially in Florida. Mm. Especially where we live in Florida. Mm. Yeah, there's a, lots, of, lots of that meth. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, that's okay. I take cash, app, <laughs> Venmo. <laughs> exactly. Worked at downtown Wells Fargo. I've seen all walks of life. Yep, yep. Been pulling off a scam for years. Customers come into my shop and buy goods off me. <laughs> None the wiser. I am making a profit. <laughs> you can't. No, you killed it. No. Did you make it? No, you made it faint. Oh. Arr. All right, here's your consolation prize. Oh, all right. Well, that's a decent consolation prize. You won't make that one faint. <laughs> that's not a challenge. <laughs> Give me your zappy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, you know, five, five, one tiny little girl, and you know, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Do 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 do. Really, what happened? He <laughs> fled. He fled. All right. I think that's the thing that turns into that camel, I want to say. We were seeing that camel last week, and we are like, what in the world is that? <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, Lance, get ready. Oh, that was good, yeah. See, he knocked him down just enough. GG, really. Interesting. Yeah, that, that, no, that's a new. That's a new one. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I was like, that's not who you challenged. Just <laughs> like, okay, sure. <laughs> Go home, Pokemon game. You're drunk. <laughs> there. I think that's good for those trees. I'm going to put a little bit on this one. <laughs> do, do, do. Is it just boss? Hmm. Hmm. Have you watched the newer Doctor Who? I have not. I've I've only seen like a couple episodes, like like here and there. Like I've seen some of the. Um, Christmas episodes, those are good. And and Pulse Voice has shown me a couple episodes like here and there. Like there was a um a Van Gogh episode that he showed me. That was good. Book of Pulse. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Look at the painting on my hand's pretty cool, actually. The purple and the blue. I like it. Again, it matches my nails. <laughs> oh, we're silly. We're silly. We're a silly bunch. And my watch. <laughs> yep. I have different colors for my watch band that I can um, swap out of, but. I just always kind of like go back to this one as my default. <laughs> he's here. He's hanging. He's he's hanging and trying to stay awake. <laughs> yeah, he's to go in go in early and work early every day. So usually one or two or three a.m. every day. So. That's why we usually try to cut it off at 10. So he can get a little, a little nap. So he gets a lap, a, a lap, a lap nap. <laughs> Maybe that too. <laughs> it's a little, a little nap during the day and then a, a nap, nap at night, a little nap at night. A lap what? <laughs> a lap nap, of course. It's a lap nap. <laughs> oh, we got blown out again. Hold on. Whoa. Okay, we're back. And we're back. Okay, I think I like my trees, so I'm gonna, gonna stop there with the trunks. 
and the branches. And so the US government, those hours don't work for you, they need to shut down. <laughs> They've got to have their mail. There's test footage on something of a spiritual, a spiritual sequel to Yellow Submarine called Strawberry Fields. Okay, that sounds interesting. Huh. An archive. Oh, okay. Oh, you know, an archive. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Diane Dew. <laughs> Diane Dew's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you know, you know what? Awful movie. So, ruler, ruler turned me on to that, um, that um, whatever that Twitch that was. Forget, I forget what it's called. Like four letters or something. So, you, yeah, you told me about that Twitch channel, and it plays like all um, like '80s and '90s movies. So I've I've seen some interesting movies on there. Watching it now, 1989. Wow. I watched, um, I watched Cool as Ice. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> well, that was, that was on that channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the interesting thing about Cool as Ice is like, there, <laughs> the interesting thing, so there's like the love interest, right? She's like, you know, I'm assuming. Well, she's go, about to go into college, so she's like almost college age. So she has like a younger brother. And in the movie, the younger brother's playing video games. They don't show what video games he's playing, but you can tell by the sound. Like, <laughs> you can tell um, he's playing Mario 3 at one point, and then he's playing Tecmo Super Bowl <laughs> There's at another time. You hear the hut, hut, hut. <laughs> well. Yeah, for some reason, I now can't even see a th thumbnail from Karate Kid 2 without thinking of LG. Well, well. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's going to pull down these for reflections real quick here. That's yeah, good. Yeah, maybe a little more over here. Okay, and then I'll put a little water line back there too. Do do do. I already have a little bit of um, liquid white on my palette here. So for the water line, I just take my knife and just kind of push, just kind of push like that, so I get get the liquid white just right on the edge of my knife. And then that's where Bob says saw it in. Just gonna. Your knife horizontal and just saw. Reload. Wipe off and reload. Good for my little water line back there. Wait, who caught that? Who caught that? Nice, Gigi Henry. <laughs> okay. That's good there. All right, where are we? Where are we? Let's let's highlight our trees. Let's let's try. Let's try the big ol'. Should we do the foliage brush? No, let's do let's do the half round. 
So I think the half round is the one that kind of makes that, that kind of shape with the branches. So let's, let's use that. I haven't used this brush in a long time. Okay, we want, hmm, what do we want? What, what colors do we want? Well, I'm tempted to put a red one, reddish one in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's grab a little liquid white, a little of that orangey color. Okay. Little yellow in there. More orangey, orangey and red. towards the bottom, that's good. All right, let's do greenish, mm, kind of yellowish maybe, maybe yellow ochreish. I'll get a little more liquid white here. Tap that in, a little yellow ochre. Oh, it's a ruler's favorite, the slice of cheese. <laughs> yeah, what, you, what did you get? What did you get? Got a thing. Got a Pokemon. Ariados? It, it's like, a, yeah, like, um, like a red spider Pokemon or something. Something like that. So it looks like he's saying halts in that email. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who goes there? You find a painting that uses the oval brush. I've used it like once. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, you know what? I think, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. I'm confusing my, you can, I'm confusing them. Where is my oval brush? It's got a black handle. There we go. That's the one I was thinking of. Oops. Just throwing brushes. This is the one where it makes things like that. That's what, I'm, yeah. Let's play with that one. Let's play with that one. Just playing with brushes today. Okay. There it is. That's the one that does it. Yeah, I was confusing it with the other brushes. Aha, uh -huh, this is the one that does it. Okay. Yeah, it just, it just shows, shows how much I use those brushes too. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, they do, yeah, they do make a really cool effect. Almost feels like um, kind of like a marshy, marshy tree. It's kind of hanging down like that. There we go. Oh, maybe a little, a little lighter up here. Doop, doop, doop. There we go. That's better. Okay. I like that. <laughs> the shiny cheese. It's the shiny cheese wheel. Yeah, yeah, that was the one, the oval brush. I was, con yeah, I was confusing it with the other ones. So the, yeah, the other ones, the, the half round or yeah, the half, half size round, the foliage ones, they were good for making like these kind of like triangle shaped background. 
background tree kind of things. It just means more brushes to clean later. Oh, I know, I know. What's the most number of brushes you use for one painting? Probably this one. <laughs> Probably this one. More Ovaltine, please. <laughs> Rich chocolatey Ovaltine. I love like the one commercial I know. They're all like outside playing baseball. And then it's like, they come inside and like, oh yeah, I need a, like a nice cold refreshing glass of Ovaltine. Yeah, that'll quench my thirst. Chocolate milk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you haven't thought about Ovaltine in years? We're, we're good for that, we're good for that. Ovaltine is malted? Is it really? I, I don't think I've ever had Ovaltine. Like, if it's one of those things, like, if I ever did have Ovaltine, it was, like, at somebody else's house, you know? Like Captain Crunch. I never had Captain Crunch. I think I had it once, and it was, like, at somebody's house. Like, it's like a cheese sandwich. <laughs> Crustle. Crustle? 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 Crustle Stouffer. Dindu, GG, the stone home Pokemon. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so we get the story. I got a, a pos, a postum and farina. I have no idea what that is. Wiki, Ovaltine is a brand of milk flavoring product. <laughs> you know, you know it's good. <laughs> milk flavoring product made with malt, ex malt extract sugar, except in Switzerland and whey. Huh, okay. I kinda wanna try Ovaltine now. Oh joy, I got the square boulder squished bug thing. Switzerland gets the good, well, Switzerland, you know, they, they know their chocolate, so. I need, yeah, I need a thick, viscous drink that will make me produce nonstop mucus, please. Yay. <laughs> Not my fault. Oh, no. Do we, do we make another one fall? Fall, fall. Yeah, faint. Poor show. Pastin is kind of like a coffee. Farina is a hot cereal, kind of like cream of wheat. Okay, okay. I've probably seen the box before, but again, it's like one of those things I've never had. <laughs> I shouldn't attack things. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It made you faint. Oh no. Ooh, what is this? <clears throat> oh, no king. Okay. I see. I see. 9.30 warning. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That's not like an answer. Brighter. A little brighter on that one. There we go. better okay yeah I like that okay I like our trees so that's cool so that's the difference between these trees were highlighted with the um, the oval brush and then this one was just highlighted with the, the half sized hmm. very interesting dang it oh correct oh no <laughs> Remember the commercial when the Cocoa Wheats bull had a face and it spoke? I do not remember that. I'm gonna have to look that one up now. <laughs> oh, GG cuz. Got the Nitto King. <laughs> Pasta. Mm, excuse me. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so for, well, oh, 
clean this off first here. I got a couple little bushes and things to highlight over here. Before I do, I'm gonna grab a little that split pea green here and just highlight a little background stuff there. Yeah, here too. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's good. Just a little, a little highlight there. Hey, Ray, how's it going? Welcome in. Mm -mm. Yeah, lots of different colors in that one. <laughs> All right. So let us let's highlight some of these closer bushes here. So I'm going to start with what was that? That was a dog, but okay. I think it's just kids. Okay, <laughs> there's there's kids next door. They're they're really young, so sometimes we hear them. <laughs> some, sometimes there's some weird noises. <laughs> Kids, coyotes, it could, yeah, coyotes too. <laughs> Poles is like. <laughs> I looked it up, search Cocoa Wheats commercial in 1989. Okay, I'm gonna have to look that up. Remember that I really didn't like Cocoa Wheats when I was young, so would not eat them without lots of brown sugar. Yeah, yeah. Brown sugar fixes most things. Eventually, it would be 80% brown sugar, <laughs> too sweet to eat. Oh, no. And so started your journey into cooking, right? <laughs> One would have thought my parents would have learned and stopped by. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Like, ugh. It's like you're trying to make it edible for yourself, and it's just, like, not working. Peek. Go to Guile, what is up? <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Really needed to add chocolate syrup instead of brown sugar. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> Indeed. Chicken bud. You know. And you know. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, I was like, what color am I using? I don't know. Mm, a yellow-ish. A yellow-ish. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I have such little of this yellow ochre left. I'm just going to... We're just going to combine it there. We're just going to combine it. There. Ta-da. That works. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just wipe that off there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I can see LG getting like cheese ball with the neighbors. <laughs> Strawberry Fields animation is really interesting and it's got computer animation too. Wow, and what was it, 1989 or 88 that came out? And the kids are just outside with Picket signs chanting for you guys to karaoke the Pokemon song. That's what it is. They know. They know. They want the <laughs> we want the Pokemon theme. All right. So for these highlights, we're just gonna kind of drag pull up like that. You see that little little spongy? That's what we're looking for. So drag pull up. Drag pull up. 
drag, pull up, drag, pull up, drag, pull up, like that. And rounded side towards the top. And then we're gonna rock around the clock and go boop, 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 like that. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. The same color, I like that color. A little stronger. A little stronger right here. There we go. That's better. Okay. Oh, maybe some more oranges. Maybe some more oranges. Another firecracker. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 89, yeah. I already think it's much better than Yellow Marine. Hot take. Hot take. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's <was> fighting words. <laughs> I need to see it. <laughs> Not the Beatles best. How do you know? Mad Dog, have you seen it? <laughs> Strawberry Fields. So waiting for Rocky Raccoon. <laughs> that will decide this, but that uh that would be an interesting story to animate. <laughs> It's always fun. What, what is the Beatles best? See, I'm. If we're talking songs, I'm. I like. Um, <laughs> Eleanor Rigby. I was. I had to sing it. I had to sing it. Eleanor Rigby is my favorite song. So if that tells you anything. some red in there. There we go. It should be good. Do, 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 do. A little firecracker. Oh, yep. Yep. There we go. That's the color. That's the color. Kind of want a little bit over here too. Oh, okay. There's a little, just a little hint of orange over there. Okay. <laughs> oh heck, let's let's throw more red in there. Why not? Why not? Yeah. I have this like I was mentioning the other day. This this is the very first tube of bright red <laughs> I bought like four years ago. Finally finishing it now, so it shows you how much how much I use the bright red. Not a whole lot. Good tune, yeah. The Palicam laughing. <laughs> oh, lagging, Palicam lagging. Oh, 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 yeah it is. Ooh. <laughs> Wow, good call. Yeah. Yout. Please don't mention what the reserve pile of Smurfy paint looks like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, try again. Uh, uh, still doing it. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I'm going to mix. 
red. That orange, oh, there we go. There we go, yes. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Ooh, look at those colors. <laughs> Ten of yes, exactly. It's fine. <laughs> Split me with ham, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> just that, just love that red. Now, you know what? Heck. Heck. Let's uh, take some of that red. Put it back in here. Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's because of that, that, that red tree I made last week. <laughs> I'm getting obsessed. I'm obsessed. There. Now all the trees are highlighted with the oval brush. Oh, joyful attic. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. What were you up to? Like video games and art. We, yep, <laughs> you've come to the right place. <laughs> we also like video games and art. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I hope you had a good stream. <laughs> oh, and and uh, and for everybody coming on in, um, I'm Lady Galaga, and I am a certified Bob Ross instructor, and we do Bob Ross style paintings here, and sometimes we do video, video game and other geekery paintings as well. So, <laughs> yeehaw, exactly, yeehaw. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joyful Attic. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, welcome, fam. Video games and art. Did commissions this time. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. That's good, that's good. I'll have to, I'll have to check, out, check out your stream and see what you're up to. Commissioner Gordon, well, <laughs> a commission of Commissioner Gordon. That would be something. Exactly. Bat, bat man. Did I miss a redemption? Uh-oh. 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 Oh, sorry, pulls. Okay. Batman, Batman, you say? What's the best way to hang your paintings? Get them framed, just use a wire. Well, what I do, <laughs> I just put, yeah, this one's, well, the hands are, bleh. Well, I'll just show you, I have, a, I have a blank, I have a blank canvas on the floor here. But what I do is I just put like push pins into the wall and then I just hang, um, hang the painting from like the wooden frame on the inside. I just, I just rest that on the, um, on the pin, pin pushes. That's what they're called, right? It doesn't sound right. Pin push, push pin. <laughs> I said it right the first time, right? <laughs> pin push, push pin, <laughs> that thing. So that's all I do. So, but what I do also is, um, I'll show you real quick on these. So like, 
I paint the sides black. That way, like when you put it on a wall, you just see the black on the sides so you don't like have to frame it, you know? So that's what I do. But yeah, I just have, I'll show you, yoink. Here, I'll show you closer. You can see it that way. There we go. Just a little, oops. Focus, there we go. Little, little push pins like that. So I just put those into the wall, just hang it on that. Real easy. So I usually put two. And I just hang it like that. Easy peasy. Was it beat the devil out of it? Okay, thank you, thank you. Let's, uh, let's, let's do a two inch brush. We like the two inch brush. Or actually, ooh, no, 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 let's do, let's do, because we have lots of brushes to, <laughs> brushes to clean. Let's, let's do the big old foliage one. Thank you all for, for seeing that. I missed it. All right, so we go to our devil cam and then we go. All right, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. Mm -mm. GG Lawrence Oxio. I'm gonna scroll back. See what else I missed. They got to stay long time extremely. Oh, no, no, you're good, you're good. I really throw my viewers at me like a series of teachers that I can enjoy the rest of your streams. I think you and around the same time. Oh, no worries. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, have a, have a good rest. Have a good rest of the day. And yes, take care. Take care. <laughs> All right. I know we all need to get oh, I got 10 minutes. Yeah, they usually end around 10. What would you use to anchor a 30 by, wait, 30 by 40 foot or 30 by 40 centimeter canvas on a wall? I'm, I'm really bad with, um, uh, yeah, framing. I, I, I generally don't do it. So, so I, I have very little experience in framing. So unfortunately, I wouldn't know. So I wanted to say thanks for the short DJ stream yesterday. Yeah, yeah, we snuck a little one in. We snuck a little one in. Finishing nail, perhaps. Hitting studs if possible. See, we need our, we need our, our fix it people. Who know construction stuff. So I've never been good at that. We had a, um, a photo class where we had to mat our photos. I did not do well. I did not do well. <laughs> Every time I measured something, it would, it would come out like three different numbers. <laughs> yeah, not great. And not your thumb. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> But yeah, I generally stick with smaller can. Yeah, I say smaller canvases, but you know, 16 by 20, 18 by 24. I usually stick with those, which those ones are nice and light, and you can just put them up with a the little push pins. <laughs> Okay, so not much more to do. Basically just a little grass and some little muddy banks. That's it. So let us go back to, yeah, how many, how many brushes have I dirtied up? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
This one too? Yeah, seven. Yeah, seven. And I already had a two inch brush over here that I only use for like the clouds. I didn't really need to bring this one out, but I did. Oops. Have a good night, Brotosaur. <laughs> I'll see you next time. I did great with mats because it's cutting paper and my type A comes out to play. Ah, see? Plus you can use fine sandpaper to clean the edges. Nice. See, see, I'm, I'm super, super B type personality and I'm super go with the flow and like whatever, you know? So, <laughs> so yeah, that would explain why it didn't quite uh, mesh with me. <laughs> that, yeah, that checks out. <laughs> Let's grab. I'm gonna take that split piece soup color. I'm gonna chuck it. Yep. Let's clean that off a bit. And I'll take some yellow, some of this green. Yeah, all the green. And grab my two inch brush, get a little more liquid white on there just to make it stick. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Pico, nice, GG. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> Yeah, cad yellow, sap green, a little bit of yellow ochre. A little bit. And I'm just gonna get a little bit. There, just a little bit of the liquid white there. Tap that directly in. little texture there. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so again, paint is evenly distributed. So I'm gonna start like, I'm gonna start from this little projection because it's, it's first. Look at, look at that paint splatter I got myself. <laughs> Lightly tap. Should come off with a light tap. There we go. Just tap underneath to kind of blend that out. And that's good and continue it off the edge there. Okay, I'm gonna reload. projection down here. Same thing, just tap underneath. Since I have less and less paint on my brush, it's just automatically blending in. over here and make another little, little striation there. That's pretty good. I'm gonna see him on the other side. Let's wipe 
that off. We really got another nice. Pelicam's better? Okay, good. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Timbit's redemption still shows the knife only redemption. 100% on desktop. We did we did do that. It's not a photo. Oh. Yeah, we gotta come up with another uh, another channel point challenge, community challenge. That's what it's called. We we do have some other. Um, it's a bug with switch. Then I have to actually click that we did, <laughs> which I probably did not. Two minute warning. Oh, two minute warning. <laughs> ah. Just gonna tap out that area there. I just want that a little less. And a little. A little more right in here. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the cheap one. We get, so it, so ruler came up with the. Um, I go I go to Walmart with twenty dollars, and um, buy supplies so that I can do a Bob Ross type landscape. So <laughs> see how it turns out for twenty dollars. So that's one. That's one. Two minutes. That's almost a whole year. <laughs> Only allowed to spend. X number of dollars on supplies, equipment, and do a painting. Yep. Yep. Blindfolded challenge with pulls voice helping. Ooh. That that would be good too. That would be good. We could. I mean we could have like two going at the same time. Oh no, Paul's just like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Come on, it'll be fun, it'll be fun. Paul's voice is very excited about the idea. Don't, don't let his typing mislead you. I'm gonna grab a little palette knife, grab a little bit of that dark color that we just used for the tree and everything. And I'm just gonna, just kinda drag in a little bank here. That's good. And then I'll, Grab a little of that color in white, make it grayish. And we'll just highlight that. Well, that was fast. Did, it, did someone catch it or did it flee? Okay. <laughs> Air on the, the iron Pokemon. <laughs> GG, cuz. Nice. A little more over here. Boop. Just drag that on. That's basically the same thing as putting snow on the mountain. Just dragging over it real gentle. And I think I want a little more grass on the very end there. Let's get the smaller one inch brush for that. It's just a small, small. There we go. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> yeah, you, you caught Elvis Aaron Presley. What an, What about an Elvis Pokemon? 
For some reason, when I said Elvis Pokemon, the image that came to mind, two minutes over, no, penalty. <laughs> penalty. <laughs> what came to mind is Slowpoke dressed as Elvis, which is probably a thing because of the internet. If you thought it, somebody else has probably thought of it and drawn a picture of it, such as the internet. It's all good as long as you don't catch the car trouble Pokemon. Aw. Bravery test. What? What? So far, did you guys hear? I just don't. Aw. Hey, here we go. Number for Pico. Nice. Okay. Oh, waterline. Waterline. Oh, I dirtied up all of my um, liquid white. So that won't do. That will not do. Okay, more liquid white. Just a little bit, don't need much. Don't need much. Okay, it's gonna, same thing as before, just gonna Saw it in. I'm gonna go in with the little part of the knife, that last little section there. Yeah, a little, a little more right, right here. There. Yeah, that's better. Maybe extend it out a little bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. I think, I think, I think, I think it hit my Presley. <laughs> There you go, see, Pico's got the right idea. Slow bro can evolve into slow king. Maybe that's why, oh, see, see. Thank you very much here. <laughs> the slow king, oh my gosh. Whatever Pokemon is Elvis has to have room for those side, that's true, that's true. <laughs> oh dear. All right. <laughs> On that note, we're gonna call this rascal finished. <laughs> what? <laughs> are we allowed to share that? I don't know. Ask Pico. <laughs> Pico, are we allowed? Are we allowed to share the thing that that Paul's voice just showed me? Do we have a date? No, I mean it's just May. Just all of May. We we can show you a preview, a, a preview of the rumor. <laughs> I heard a rumor. I heard rumors. It's a secret. Oh, okay, it's a secret. Okay, we're gonna keep it a secret. But there, there might be something going on. Not this month. Not next, Not next month. month. <laughs> maybe, 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 mid May. <laughs> All right, enough, enough. Secret again. <laughs> May, yeah, there's maybe something. It may, there's maybe something. Just kidding. I'm so excited. <laughs> on that note, on that note, you know, like every once in a while, there's like a thing on Twitter or whatever, and it's like, share the first GIF that comes up when you type your first name. Well, my first name is Jesse, so every time I type in Jesse, guess what GIF comes up? I'm so excited. <laughs> Pointer Sisters, they're, they're coming to um, Epcot uh, at the end of this month, so we're trying to schedule that in, trying to go to that. Yeah, yesterday we saw um, Rick Springfield. So, yes, I'm going to have to... I, I don't think I can post a video to, um, well, not the full video, any full video to Discord, so I'll have to do like a little clip. Or maybe I'll just post it on um, uh, the Twitter and then I'll just post a link to the Twitter in my Discord of that, because, yeah, only one left. Yeah. 
If we make it smaller, you can post it. If you make the video smaller, mm -hmm. like in length or like Size. physically. Mm, that's interesting. <laughs> Professor Lynch, thank you. Thank you so much. And yeah, drink around the world at Epcot. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Yes. <laughs> we would like to, yeah, they have the, um, the Flower and Garden Festival going on right now. So like they have like different stations that are um, having like different foods and everything. So yesterday I had a, um, a lychee margarita and hot tip if you're in Disney and you get a, an adult beverage, get an adult beverage right before they close at nine, cause woo, they're just gonna finish that, uh, they're gonna finish that alcohol in your drink, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You <laughs> I'll let you catch this one. We gotta find, we gotta find a friend to raid. We gotta find a friend to raid. I gotta stop talking. Little. <laughs> Every time I see the State Farm guy, I think it's Donald Glover. I said, there's, there's an ad on my, on my <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> just, it reminds me of him. Okay. All right. Who are we gonna raid? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Have a good night, cuz. Hope things, hope things are looking better for you. <laughs> the bad luck runs out. Starting Sunday and Sunday, yeah. We call that <laughs> turn picking. Waiting for the last round at a carnival before ordering a drink like a margarita or a mojito. Okay, there's a word for it. Turn, turn picking, turn picking, turn picking. Okay, <laughs> there you go. It is a thing. There are a bunch of ours restaurants in Disney World that only charge one dollar more for a tall adult beverage. See, see, hot tips, hot tips. Castlevania is having her stream anniversary and playing endless Castlevania runs. Ooh. Oh, like New Jersey Turnpike. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing Thursday, so we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Non-stop Castlevania. It looks like she's maybe doing Castlevania 4 right now. I'm just gonna look and see. See all the people we have. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Good lord, <laughs> birthday we're still doing Contra. Contra challenge day 24. All the Contras. All the Contras. Uh oh, what happened? Oh no, Farfetch, no. I'll throw one more out while I'm still looking. <laughs> what if you do Thursday, be sure to include a lucky clover or a pub in place of a cabin. Oh gosh, is that, is that what is that, the 16th? Yeah. <laughs> We'll just something green. <laughs> I mean, green is my favorite color. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like Blackout Recordings is doing Stardew Valley. What happened? That one? <laughs> no, they're all fleeing. Oh, Smeargle. You know Smeargle. Smeargle, you can't do us wrong. Smeargle. Come on, Smeargle. Come on. Okay. Okay.
because I was going to read Black Order Party's Miss Busy, but it looks yeah. like Jed Jedi was in there. Je it was Jedi's birthday today, but it looks like he, he just said he was going to sleep. So <laughs> it looks like, looks like he's out for the night. So maybe, maybe we'll go to Castle Cassievania. Do, 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 Non-stop Cassievania. I think this is Castlevania 4. I think it is. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Something a little different tonight. So let's let's raid Cassivania. So the name is uh Cassivania, like C-A-S-S-I-E V-A-N-I-A. Yeah. One word? Yes, all one word. No capitals. <laughs> Silver Shamrocks. Ooh, I mean. <laughs> I mean, that would work. I mean, that's, that's, that's Irish, you know. Halloween 3, that's, you know. <laughs> Could do that. Could do that. We shall see. Thursday is pie day, so everybody bring a, bring a pie. Ooh. Okay, so that too. Nice. Happy Little Raid. Yeah, you can put Happy Little Raid. That's a, that's a good one. Cassie is a hard rock zombies classic. <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> well, if you like Castlevania, <laughs> Cassievania plays Castlevania. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody for hanging out. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out what we, what we do for, for Thursday, whether it's going to be... Irish inspired or just green or Halloween three inspired? I don't know. Blueberry. <laughs> Blueberries. Blueberry is awesome. Damage. Oh, you <laughs> no. Too late for a cabin. No. <laughs> well, thanks everybody for hanging out. We are on our way to the raid. And yeah, raid message, you can put happy little raid or just, you know, just fun little emotes, whatever you want. Blueberry. Ooh, blueberry pie. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a good night and uh, be safe. And maybe I'll see you Thursday. Bye. <laughs>